And we are live monitoring the Blair House across from the White House. As you can see right here, President-elect Obama's motorcade on standby right now. They'll leave any minute now to take the new First Family to church services. In fact, those services are going to start in about 13 minutes. They're going to depart for St. John's Church. Oh, That's here we go. Here it is, President-elect and, uh, and the, the First Lady to be. Certainly a historic day. Uh, when they leave St. John's Church, they're going to then go to the White House where they will meet President Bush and First Lady Laura Bush, as well as the Bidens, where they'll have coffee, which is very historic, obviously, something that happens in every single inauguration. Tom Serafin joins us right now, political analyst. And as we watch this, Tom, what's your thoughts right now? What's going through your mind? Well, this is something that started with Franklin Roosevelt in 1933. The, uh, uh, the tradition of going to a church service in the morning, and you, you know they're still looking for a uh, they're still looking for a church in Washington D.C. to attend in a yeah. I was going to ask you way. where are they uh, where are they headed off to right now? Yeah, over at St. John's, right. but it's kind of one of those uh, uh, ceremonies that steeped in tradition and, and something that's a, a very important. And and this is so much on time. I mean, everything they've done in this uh, last two day period, twenty four hour period, has been you know by the clock. And, you know, he's carrying 80% of the country's optimism with him. 80% of the people polled in the last two weeks are saying that this man can do the job. We want him to do the job, and we're positive about him doing the job. He goes to church today with, uh, and into the ceremony and the inauguration this morning with a, a lot of weight on his shoulders. And you can see it in the way he's walking. If you just saw the way he uh, walked with his wife, his right? there, yeah. he's, he's, he's walking with a lot of confidence. Well, it's a day really to kind of step back and, and celebrate the whole political system of our of the United States and, and the, the inauguration process as well before you, he has to get down to some serious issues right. after today, of course. Right. He's got a couple hours left uh, before he's uh, no longer a free man and carries the weight <laughs> exactly. of the office. And George Bush is looking forward to 1059 so that he can get in and get out. What do you think is going to be his first uh, role of business when he does get in office after he is sworn in? Well, what is he, he, aside from the economy, Well, there, there's a group of 20 uh, members of his staff that will be meeting in the White House immediately after the inauguration, as, after he takes the oath of office today. So 20 of his top guys are going to depart the parade and everything else, go to the White House and begin the work immediately. One of the first issues is the uh, a presidential order, the closed Getmo. I mean, that's something he's been talking about. He's going to sign that and move that forward, the executive order. Now, it may take, as he said to the Washington Post, three or four years to get that job done, but he's beginning the process today. Something that George Bush said 18 months ago he wanted to do hasn't gotten done, and now uh, the, the, the president-elect uh, Obama is going to make that effort. Something also historic today, the president-elect, when he is sworn into office, will be using the same Bible that Abraham Lincoln used when he was sworn in, and it hasn't been used since then. I did not know they could choose which Bible, and, and how does this come about? Well, is, 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 it, a, is it in a safe uh, safe somewhere? Or? Which, by the way, we should say we're getting the first look at, uh, is this, this is the dress she's going to be wearing, right. which has been, you know, in addition to everything, this has been a big story. A lot of people want to know. Do what we know who wearing. designed I that? I do not. Yeah. I do not. Well, this is, this is her outfit for today, not for the balls tonight. The thing tonight, obviously, she's going to be wearing a gown. Mm -hmm. that, that's her outfit for today's uh, I, services. I just, I, listen, I, I'm not, I just know that everybody's <laughs> been raising it. Uh, so I want to look at it and say, there, and she's Robert's wearing it. been doing that <laughs> story. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. I mean, it's been, and everybody on the Internet, that's the big story. But yeah. I want to know, what is she going to wear? Well, yeah. She looked fabulous last night, and, and mm -hmm. she looks fabulous this morning. I mean, uh, she reminds me a bit, you know, I'm old enough to remember Jackie Kennedy mm -hmm. when she was first elected with the pillbox hat and how she changed uh, style in, back in 1960 when President Kennedy was elected. Well, whatever she wears to the ball, the outfit is going to be in the Smithsonian Institute for all to see. And I think she's got three choices between Diane von Furstenberg, in case you were wondering, Mike, a Michael Kors dress, and I, and I think another dress, too, from another designer. Maria that, Pinto? Oh, Louis A. That's right, Louis A. What'd you call me? Um, <laughs> We're getting some help here from the peanut gallery. So going back though to the uh, to the swearing in ceremony today, obviously he's going to be sworn right. in using Abraham Lincoln's Bible. So is this something that is, is well, he's, he's been planning for a while? Oh yeah, he's he's fashioned his candidacy after Abraham Lincoln. He announced his candidacy uh, in in the cold weather, you know, more than a year ago on the steps of the old state capitol in Springfield in, in front of a, an audience of I think eighty thousand people. So it, this is something that is it, it's inbred. He sees himself in what Abraham Lincoln went through, and you know I I, I think. Abraham 
Abraham Lincoln, Ulysses Grant was an Illinoisan, uh, Ronald Reagan was an Illinoisan, and Dixon, Illinois. So, you know, there may be some argument about whether he's the second or third, but he's really the fourth president to have lived here in the state of Illinois. So everybody had their own, you know, I think uh, Nixon used a couple uh, Bibles from his family heirlooms when he uh, uh, took the, uh, took the oath. So everybody has gone around and, and done different things. He, he's fixated on Abraham Lincoln. And uh, which was a very tough presidency. Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. Uh, things change. Uh, so he's doing what he thinks is very important. To and what are the kind of tools or the things, the qualities, the character of Abraham Lincoln that he can apply to today? All the stuff that he's read, what can he apply to this presidency? Well, you know, he, uh, the, uh, the Dorothy Kearns books, we, we, which we talked about some time ago, about having a cabinet of challengers or people that are, have not necessarily been always 100% uh, on his uh, in his uh, corner. So he, he's got a cabinet of very diversified individuals, strong personalities, accomplished individuals, same thing Abraham Lincoln did. Abraham Lincoln was dealing with the uh, uh, the advent of the Civil War. Uh, he was also an ex-congressman uh, like uh, uh, Barack Obama is an ex-U.S. senator. So they, you know, had, had run and lost. Barack Obama lost to Bobby Rush uh, in his uh, first race for the United States Congress. Abraham Lincoln lost his first couple races. So, I mean, the similarities are there. They came out of uh, 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 Springfield, uh, both lawyers. I mean, so you know, he, he he sees the world at a very difficult moment of change. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a difficult world today. And remember, the legacy of George Bush, the Bush sees, is not seeing us attacked again. Obama's going to try to make sure that happens again for the next eight years. All right, Tom, we're going to stick around with us for the rest of the morning. We hope, anyway. Yeah. We'll be back right after this. Do you, do you get a change?